Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Brad over here at Chattanooga Fishing Fun. Here at Chattanooga Fishing Fun, we sell Ranger boats and Lance truck campers. Uh, today we've got a beautiful Saturday. I wanted to get out here before it got too hot and show you all this 2014 Lance 1191 that I took in on trade. This one is still available. Whenever it sells, I'll uh, update the uh, whatever the title, uh, whatever you want to call it, um, and let you know that it's sold. But again, this is a 2014 Lance 1191 that we took in on trade. Dry weight on this one is 3,912 pounds dry. Uh, I think I just said dry twice, but anyways, you got the point. Uh, and then it's 4,260 pounds wet. So this one right here, you'd probably wanna go ahead and get yourself a one ton dually. Uh, this one re will require a long bed. Uh, Ford, GMC, Chevy, Dodge, doesn't matter. But uh, go ahead and get you a dually, long bed, to uh, haul this one. Uh, we got the swing out bracket so you can park the fat butts underneath, as you can see there. All electric jacks around all four corners. Then we're gonna walk around the sides here. Let's see, make sure I got this unlocked. Yes, sir. All right, there we go. We got us quite a bit of storage right here in this slide out. There's our 30 amp power cord. A little fun fact about the 1191 here, it's actually discontinued in like 2015, I think. I don't know why this is, uh, this is actually one of my favorite models right here, the 1191. It's got a lot of storage and a lot of space inside, so. Um, and a lot of storage outside too. So this is a really cool camper and I don't know why they, I don't know why Lance took it off the menu. But uh, here we got our uh, main dump station. You got 35 gallon tanks all across. So you got your 35 gallon uh, water tank and then you have your 35 gallon uh, gray water tank and then 35 gallon black water tank. So all your main drops are right here in this door. Uh, you got your parking satellite connections, outdoor shower, uh, fresh water tank, and again, that was 35 gallon. Then you got your cold and hot water lines. Got your uh, liquid waste, which would be like your uh, kitchen sink water, um, shower water, stuff like that. And then you got your body waste, which would be your toilet. And it all comes out that main drop. Cool. Got us a sewage hose door. Sewage hose comes with it. Probably get rid of that before selling it. I don't think anybody else wants to use anybody else's uh, sewage hose. All right, so around back, we got this nice storage door on a, with a gas spring. Gas shocks, there we go. Got the pegboard. But yeah, there's uh, quite a bit of storage back in here. I actually brought my tape measure. I can measure, measure that. All right, so I actually just measured measured this. It's uh, six inches in depth and then 64 to the top up there. So six by 64. So that's a pretty good size uh, storage space in the back. Then we've got our Onan generator here. That's a 2500 uh, and it runs on propane. 30 amp uh, plug-in so you've got your 30 amp here on the back and then your other campground connection over here city water uh, two batteries here then a little bit of storage right here on the back again Fat ladder to get to the roof. Backup camera, docking lights and patio lights. Got quite a bit of stuff here. And then this one's a side entry. So your entry is on the side. Makes sense. Uh, this one's got the Four Seasons package to it. So it's got the uh, heated basement. That'll heat your holding tanks, water lines, and act to heat the floor. Then we got us a manual rollout awning on this one. Uh, patio light, outdoor speakers, uh, fresh water fill. 
That's where you fill up your 35 gallon fresh water tank. Two 30 pound propane tanks on a slide out so it's easier to get to. And then uh, service for your water heater. And then this one's ball cap is missing. Try to find this guy a new one. Oh, exterior propane. All right, cool. Let's get to the inside. All right, so walking in here, you got these two steps here. Then you have you a ton of storage right when you walk in the camper. That was a huge pull-out drawer. You got all your light switches over here to the right. Turn that interior light on. There we go. Then you've got you. I mean, this camper right here just I mean, it has a ton of storage. Look at this. And this is where I get my weights too. So 4,260 pounds wet. And it was right under 4,000 pounds dry. And this one's got the uh, magnet holders. Lance used to have these little clip things right here. That was trash. So this one's been upgraded to the magnets and that'll hold it. That's a good idea. Magazine rack. Nice countertop space in addition to the kitchen then you've got this right here that'll flip out to add on to the countertop space a bunch of drawers if you don't like this part just skip through but if i skip opening the drawers and we'll hear about it in the comments so danged if you do danged if you don't a little bit of cabinet space here and here if I had to guess, this unlabeled switch right here is for your backup camera power. AC, you control your uh, AC and heat through this uh, one ordeal right here. AC outlets. Alright, moving on to the kitchen. So, you got quite a bit of kitchen space here. And having this uh, slide out here, it gives you a ton of space to walk around over here in the kitchen. You got this huge slide out here on the side, so it really opens up the floor plan in here. But here you got a separated sink, deeper part right here, shallow. I don't really know what the fancy words for that are. But a little bit of overhead cabinet storage. Microwave, three burner stove top, oven, again a bunch of drawers if you don't like this part skip it. There you go. Quite a bit of storage underneath the sink. Put your Lysol cleaning equipment and towels and stuff in here. Doritos. Be a good place for Doritos. Alright. So that pretty much covers the kitchen. Again, you have quite a bit of space here to work with and a ton of uh, storage and countertop space over there to the right. Then, you've got a huge slide out pantry here. Look at this one, little guy. So the 1191, again, is not in production. I believe the last year for it was 2015. I believe could be wrong been wrong before but I think 2015 was the last year that this was on the menu for Lance I don't know why they did away with it this is actually like one of my favorite models but oh well all right so you got you a, a queen size mattress up top 60 by 80 inches um, got you uh, yeah there we go got you a closet to the right up here with a clothes rod oh it's even lit in there too i don't think the new ones have that never noticed a little bit of shelf space up top storage over to the right of the bed storage to the left of the bed more storage radio um that is controlled or you can put in DVDs and stuff for that TV there TV is on a swivel so you can see it from the dinette magazine racks 
then here's our dinette this is a huge dinette i'm actually going to make that into a bed here in a second and then i'll measure it and give you all the dimensions for that all right there's our dinette made into a bed after watching about three videos this is what i come up with so i thought that the whole thing was supposed to be a cushion but apparently not all right so you got about 60 inches this way laying down and then you got about 48 across so 60 by 48 i measured also if you went diagonal on this thing that's about 68 inches you got there so realistically you can get about 48 and uh 48 by 68 out of this all right i'm gonna put that back up all right now that we got that squared away we got us some storage underneath the bench here there's all of our paperwork backup camera and uh jack or yeah electric jack control and slide out control there's another uh, little storage compartment underneath that bench all right moving on to the bathroom this is the last part of the tour we got a dry bath it's very roomy uh got quite a bit of room in the shower here enough room to sit on the john without touching your knees to the door uh, sink toilet paper holster keep it dry in there but that is our bathroom All right, I'll go over the inside of this camper one more time without running my mouth so y'all can see it one last time. All right, everybody, that completes the tour of the 2014 Lance 1191. This one is still up for grabs. Uh, we've got it priced at $39.995. If interested, give me a call, 423-892-6272. Uh, all my contact information will be in the description below along with the price. Um, let's see. If you have any questions, you can also comment below. Try to get to as many of those as I can. Y'all have really good questions. Um, so keep them coming. Uh, go ahead and like this video. Let's YouTube know that I might know what I'm talking about. Might be enjoyable to watch. And don't forget to subscribe. But again, this camper right here, 2014 Lance 1191, will require a long bed dually. Comes in weighing about 3,912 pounds dry and 4,260 pounds uh, wet weight. So I'll catch you on the next video. Y'all stay safe. Take care. Have a great day.